Hi everyone, welcome to Embedded 369. In today's video, we will see how to work on analog to digital converter. So I have just got new SP32. It is SP32 room 32E. So it is shining, looking good. Let's work on this. So whenever you purchase a new breadboard or controller like this, so it might not go inside. So in initially it might not go inside. For that I will give you small tips. There is something called tweezer, so you can get it in a shop. So with the with this with the help of this tweezer, in these holes, you can just press it. So after pressing all the holes. So now we can find it. It will go. It will easily go. It. So I have. I have already done it actually. So if you are facing any problem, you can do it. So it will go. It will sit easily inside the breadboard. No. So in this ESP32, it is difficult to work in a single breadboard. So it is recommended to use two breadboard. It will be easier actually. So for that, what I have done. So I have just taken out a small part from the. breadboard so this end this end will be connected to this breadboard yes there is a holes here so i'll connect these two breadboards then i'll connect a usb like this so it would be easier to so it would be easier for us to work so now let's see the adc implementation so for that first i'll create a new project I'll call it ADC. So I have uh, I have already made the project. So we go to my GitHub repository, open this ESP32, and if you go to ADC, here you can find my code. Then just simply copy. Paste it here. Hmm. Build the project. So our project is successfully built. There is no error. So oh, let's explore the project one by one. So the first one, you see, it is a structure actually. So here we set the parameters for the ADC, and here I declare one global variable. Just to check the, uh, it is to store the data actually, the raw ADC data. And this one, from this, from this API, we will choose which ADC to to use. So we can see it here. So if we go to this documentation, API reference in ADC section. Uh, we have two S A R A D C actually. So which A D C you want to choose it? With this A P you can choose it. You just open this. You can check it. S A R A D C one is selected. Uh, and this one, and this one is like uh, to check the range voltage range up to which voltage you want to measure. So there are four different settings: attenuation, A D C attenuation. So there are four different settings. So the first one, like we can able to measure only 100 millivolt to 950 millivolt. But if we use this particular setting, then we can go up to 2,450 millivolts. So I am using these settings. You can check it here. In the code also. I am using that thing only. So I am using the 12 bit mode. So we can change it as per your needs. There are 9 bit mode also available. And just change it according to your needs. So currently, I'm using a ADC channel five actually. ADC one. Currently, I'm using ADC one channel five. So if you see, if you see this this one, the GPU GPU thirty three, it is having a ADC one and channel number five. So this particular pin I will be used for the ADC. So for testing the ADC, I'm using 10 kilo ohm potentiometer. So the connection will look like this. 
so one side of the potentiometer will be connected to the positive that is 3.3 voltage of the ASP32 the another terminal will be connected to the ground and the center pin that would be connected to the your ADC pin like whatever the ADC pin you choose now let's upload the code and check it what happens so whenever you upload the code just always check it what is the version of the ESP32 you are using it so I am using that ESP32 room E model E so for that ESP32 is fine so uh, you can check it there are only four models actually it depends on that which family it follows so you have to choose that so i'm using esp32 that particular family so i'm using that so just choose the com port then i upload the code let's check the result We'll just open the terminal to see the results. So we can see the result, it is zero. So we'll just rotate rotate this potentiometer. Yeah, you can see the ADC values are varying. So just stopping it here. So the ADC values are varying. Up to this level, we can measure it. So I'm just reducing it back to zero. So, so this is a simple simple demo demonstration of ADC. So from this video, you might have got some idea about how to work on ADC. So if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. See you on next video. Have a nice day.